broken through security. Now, if I got caught in here on my own, I'd be taken away by BMW police and probably put in a BMW jail. But thankfully, I'm joined by BMW's chief designer, Chris Bangle. Chris, good to see you. To be honest, you're in BMW jail now. <laughs> I know, crikey, <laughs> like, I can't believe I've been allowed in here. So listen, the M3 concept at Geneva, the CS at Shanghai, and you've got something under these blue robes that's equally, if not more exciting. This is our, our baby we've been working on a long time Yeah. Um, that takes us into a new field. Basically, we're talking about what is, what is sportiness, what is efficientness, what is dynamic mm. with a BMW interpretation. But at the same time, the basis is, as you can see, um, something which is a bit higher up off the road, something which has a type of scale presence, which uh, fits with the drivetrain, which is you know, what you would expect from powerful on- and off-road capability. And at the same time, as you can tell by the silhouette, uh, it's all about a type of a, a coupe elegance. What happens when we give it a coupe silhouette? We put you in the car, you sit a little bit lower, your legs a little bit higher, but yeah. that's just enough to feel that much better in the car, yeah. that much sportier. And I'm guessing, though, for a, for a sports car, for a, for a fast car, there's a, a high point of gravity here, which is obvious to see. Does that mean it's not so fast going around, around no, a bend? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Uh, first, uh, excuse me. You're talking BMW here. Yeah. <laughs> excuse me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, to begin with... That was a rhetorical question. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad I, you, know. you added that. <laughs> um, to begin with, when BMW set out to, to redefine four-wheel driveness, the mm. first thing they did was they lowered the center of gravity. Don't forget, the X5 was the first vehicle that took the whole engine and drivetrain and dropped it down. Before then, uh, an off-road vehicle, you could see all the way underneath it. Remember, you could see yeah. the pumpkins from the rear axle. You could see everything underneath it. BMW took that whole drivetrain, dropped it down as low as it could get and still get the ground clearance. But then, because of that, they needed the high seating position because you have to command the road. Mm. They brought the, the driver back up again. Here, we're saying, okay, let's take the best from this sports activity world and let's give it that coupe mm. seating position, coupe uh, window frame feel, yeah. coupe silhouette, and suddenly we're in a completely different type of uh, sensation when you drive it. That's what's new about this. It's yeah. the sensation when you're inside. I might have noticed that... Um it seems quite spacious inside. I mean, if you think about uh, a coupe, for example, I mean, people complain about uh, the interior and space, don't they? They say that they're a bit cramped. I don't think this is going to be a problem here, is it? The whole idea of sports activity vehicles was not about being cramped. They're, they're large vehicles as well. But the efficient dynamics about it is making sure you don't waste any space, mm -hmm. making sure you don't add weight if you don't need weight. I mean, after all, uh, the BMW commitment is about efficiency and dynamics together. And therefore, when it comes to having space inside, we're not about to take it away from the people. Yeah. You know, we want to make sure that they feel comfortable. When do you think you might be unveiling this? These will be unveiled at the uh, EAA in Frankfurt in September. Okay. So we are just um, so some be days away look. from that. That'll be our first look. When will we be able to um, get hold of one for ourselves? <laughs> not a whole lot longer after that. Not new a whole year, lot longer. In the new year? Well, I think that's fair to say that a good concept realizes itself in as short amount of time as possible. Yeah. So uh, we'll see how quickly we can bring these to market. And who's the car for? This is my last question. Who's going to be, who's, who's it aimed at? Who's going to want it? I'm sure everyone's going to want it, but who's it aimed at? Well, uh, BMW is really famous for, for dynamic sporting vehicles. Mm. I mean, even when we do a 7 Series, which is a limousine, it mm. is a pretty dynamic sporting vehicle. When we go into something uh, like one of our coupes, then you really know M3, M5, you're all out in that. This is the type of vehicle for those people that wanted that sporty dynamic, but they've always wanted, where's this four-wheel drive usability on this? Mm. Where's this sense of sitting a bit higher than the rest on the road? I'm used to that. I've had mm. that in other vehicles now, mm. X5. I mean, think of when we had the X5 HP, yeah. suddenly we had this honking vehicle out there that just, yeah. just was completely tear. Now, you've got all that, but in a much more uh, sporting aesthetic to go with it, too. Yeah. And so I think that's the kind of people who've always really wanted to put those worlds together. That's what crossover is about. It's you weird. know, getting you you're that describing, best. You're describing me. <laughs> you're describing me. So where are the keys? And the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You get to open yours later. But Look, maybe the first. Who knows? Well, you know, who knows? We can live and hope. Chris, I know your time is valuable. I think you've obviously done a fantastic job here. I think I speak for everyone saying that we're all very excited about... Seeing them, for real. So well done you. Thanks. We'll Thanks be seeing you in Frankfurt. Me. Yeah. Great. I love that. I love the way you can see all the lights. <laughs>